Welcome, my prospective Cyber Patriot competitors. My name is Tristan, and I am the Cisco person for our JRTC team, and I will be your Cisco trainer for the coming year. While many of you are familiar with the format of the competition for the Windows and Linux machines, those of you learning Cisco will find that it's completely unlike the normal operating systems. For Cisco, you will be given a set of instructions with an interface of devices that you are to configure based upon your knowledge and the requests in the instructions. In this video, I'll be outlining my tips and tricks for how to approach the Cisco Networking Challenge and its corresponding quiz. If you were to watch only a fragment of this video, I would want you to watch this clip for this tip. My tip is to read and go through the Netacad lessons for Cisco. Netacad is a website that contains modules and challenges to help you learn the material you need for Cisco. By creating an account and then joining the class by asking Mr. Beck, you'll be able to prepare for each competition knowing the material that will be covered. Sarah Patriots even specifically outlines what modules you'll be using, so it makes it easy to really focus your studies. I cannot stress this enough how many people do not use this tool and how big a difference it can make in competition. By doing this modules, you can succeed in competition. Now I'll be starting with my tips for the main piece of the Cisco Networking Challenge, which is the Cisco Packet Tracer. My first tip would be to copy and paste the instructions into a Google Doc because it will allow you to do many things from increasing the font if you have trouble reading the screen, to highlight each piece of the instructions as you finish the challenge, and to make notes as need be as you go along. This copy of the instructions is your copy, and you can do what you want with them, which will help you greatly to organize your thoughts when you are caught up in the stress of competition. From there, read through all the instructions first. I can't emphasize enough how many times I've had to go back during competition to fix my previous work because I didn't read all the instructions, in the way Sarah Patriot wanted things done wasn't the way I did them. Don't make the mistake of not reading through all the directions because you'll only be wasting time. After reading the instructions, my second tip would be to go on through each step one by one and to type out all your commands into a Google Doc before inputting them because this allows you to visualize the process and to ensure that everything is correct, to recover if the program crashes, and to copy and paste the commands into the program if you have to for a repetitive action across multiple devices. I did not start doing this until about the second half of last year, but when I did, I wish I had started doing it sooner because it helps a lot, especially when the program crashes, which it probably will happen at least once. My third and final tip is to save often. The worst thing that you can do is in the last hour of competition, your program crashes, and because you didn't save your progress, you lose everything. So to avoid that, save often. I admittedly don't do it nearly enough as I should, but I'm getting to the habit that every 30 minutes, I click save. So if you do the same, it will greatly reduce the chances of you getting messed up during competition. Now on to the networking quiz. With my packet tracer tips done, it's time to move on to the networking quiz. The networking quiz is a knowledge-based test with drag and drop, multiple choice, true, false, and choose all that apply type of questions. While much of it concerns applying your networking knowledge, the contents of the quiz will always be covered by the Netacad modules. However, since the networking quiz is purely knowledge-based, I have very few tips for approaching it. My favorite practice last year was when in doubt, or if you're worried, look up the question in Google. Google is your best resource, and often you will get the answer with just a little bit of searching. But do remember that changing the wording of your search can get you different results. My second tip would be to double check your work by reviewing the questions when you're done. This helps ensure you clicked all the right answers and that your perspective did not change as you Google searched. My last and final tip would be to copy and paste the NCAD modules into a Google Doc, which will allow you to do quick searches using Control F if you're looking for information directly from the source. With that last tip, this concludes my video on the tips and tricks behind the Cisco Networking Challenge. All the resources in this video will be listed in the description, including the script if you want to read through this after the video. I wish you all the best of luck in this competition. Bye!